oh, I was not surprised that it happened. So one of the problems that you you have when you're deploying at a scale like Google or Microsoft is how do I deal with you know significant percentage of the entire internet's traffic? And that's not a trivial problem. It's not a question of, oh, I'll just you know, run another couple of servers to solve the problem. Um, you know, you just, you have to distribute the load globally. Um, and how do you do that in a way that you can keep keys safe? Um, you know, the naive thing to do is to say, well, we'll just load these keys in the memory on the thing that's doing the signing and we'll scale out the front end of that, that service so that it has enough signing capacity to be able to support all of the load. And that is a, a trade-off that's made. The right thing to do would be to take that key and move it into some signing oracle that's out of proc of the um, the thing that's actually dealing with the front end traffic. Because um, I like to say parsers are the source of all evil in security. And you know, you receive a message and you need to parse it so you can figure out what to sign. Well, you know, there maybe was a buffer overflow or an integer overflow or some sort of. Uh, attack vector on that front end. Maybe it was sitting in a database, sitting on the file system, so it could be quickly loaded by those signers that are that are sitting there, and the attacker was actually inside the network. A lot of large networks have persistent attackers hiding in there, just looking for something valuable for months and years until they find the thing that's valuable and where they choose to use that that access that they've secured. And so it's hard to say exactly what happened, but. It, for sure, the key was not well protected. I'm, I, I would put bet reasonable money on that.